Hey everyone, I'm John Sasson and today we're taking a look at Case's magnetic filter system. All right, so this is just a first look at Case's new magnetic filters. So I actually have this in my hand and for a quick disclaimer, Case did send these out to me just so I can get a feel for it. And of course, to let you guys know what I personally think of it and what you could possibly use it for and maybe if you need it for yourselves in the future. Now I do have it in a kit where they actually do provide me with a lens cap, a adapter ring itself so I can attach it to my lens or whatever lens I'm using. And of course I do have this in a nice leather case where you do get an ND1000, ND64, ND8 and a circular polarizer. Now this is actually a pretty good kit to get so if you're on the market for a magnetic filter system, this might be a good one to go for. So the point of a magnetic filter system is to essentially make things a lot easier when you're changing filters for different shoots, for different types of scenarios where you want to attach a filter. Usually when I shoot landscapes, I do like to use ND filters. And if you've seen my video on the clip-in filters from Case, I actually did like them, but there are a few instances where I would like to attach a filter itself just to make things a lot faster. But depending on what you want to shoot and what you preferably want to use it for, this is a good system to go with as well. But to actually let you know about the product itself, it's very simple. So all you really need to do is attach the adapter ring and that actually adds as a magnetic pull for whatever you want to put on it from case. So for example, if you want to just put a lens cap, all you need to do is just attach it on like that and you're pretty much good to go. Or if I wanted to get say an ND1000, all I need to do is remove the lens cap and attach the filter on just like that. It's really that simple. All right, so I thought this was gonna be a bit difficult because I do have another tripod right here for me to film with, but I'm gonna make this sort of a vlogging type of video because it's just so difficult. So um, I'm gonna go right to the water here and just try taking a few shots with this magnetic filter system. Now, just to let you know, I am shooting with the Sony a7 III with the size baddest 25mm f1.8 and right now I'm using the circular polarizer with an ND64 shooting some nice little seascapes here and I do have my tripod here as well but the cool thing is is that I have these nice little sort of bags that wrap around my tripod legs so I'm not going to get the any sand or water within like the little joints of the tripod. So that's actually pretty handy to have. And something I'd probably recommend if you're shooting a lot of landscape photos and you wanna just get near the water. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take a few shots with me or shots of the filters that I have hanging right here. So stay tuned. So far I've taken quite a few different shots. I am extremely happy with what I've gotten so far and you know again it's just that having it's just having that nice security and being able to switch the filters that makes things a lot easier when I want to change it up so maybe add like an ND64 or ND1000. Now the cool thing about this is that they are stackable but I think well from what I've seen so far they will been yet so maybe don't put maybe more than two tip, two different types of filters on top of this, uh, on top of your, whatever you're using. But if you really are like held up in a bind, then I guess you can correct it in post. But then again, I really wouldn't recommend it either. Now on their website, uh, Case did specify that it is a type of filter system that is very durable. So it's going to be weatherproof, very difficult to break as well. So I don't think you'll have any issues if you accidentally drop it. So far, I haven't had any issues with it. I haven't dropped it, but I don't want to test that out right this second unless it is an accident. Just finished shooting at the beach. I am quite happy that I did bring these little bags with me because they did come in handy when I was shooting near the water. And in fact, I actually just wet myself in terms of, not wet myself, but the waves got me. So pretty much drenched, um, but 
going back to the filter system. Now these are pretty handy to use, very simple to install. And I would recommend if you're looking at a magnetic filter system, these are probably the ones to get. I would highly recommend them as well, not just because of its ease of use, but in terms of the quality as well, they actually are a very good one to go with. And while they may be a bit expensive, they are definitely worth it. So uh, I will do a full review coming soon on these, but yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for the full review, which I'll be doing shortly. And of course, like this video if you found it helpful and uh, take a look in the description down below for more information about these filters. as well as affiliate links that do help support the channel. Now you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram for more sample photos and photo updates on different cameras and lenses I do as well as accessory reviews that I do feature uh, that I do videos on as well. Until then, happy shooting and thanks for watching.